Friends, the time has come. Make ready to assault the lair of the White Witch. Yeah! Oliver, don't worry, P. It'll work. You'll see. Now, men, prime the cannons. Fire at will. Keep it up, boys! Hmm. Anyone else think this is a bit too easy? It is strange. Why is no one fighting back? I'm going! Hey! Wait! I'm coming too! And so am I! What? Go! Oh, wait for me! Hold on! Don't leave the hero behind! Is everybody ready? We're planning to fly through the hail of cannon fire, are you? Would you rather stay here? No, of course not. Wait! Do you have room for another? Because I mean to see this to the very end. Prince Marcus said? Okay, I'll hop on board. Splendid! We're ready, Tangri! <laughs> Oh, all that firepower, not a scratch on it. Just as I thought. It's invulnerable. No matter. The primary purpose of that attack was to unite our forces behind a common cause. Oh, really? Yes, I thought that might be the case. <laughs> you big liar. You were scared out of your wits. Scared? Me? <laughs> You're clearly hysterical. You guys. She's waiting for us. The White Witch. Cassiopeia.
Achievers. You are late, Oliver. So you're... Behold the overseers of the world's fate. The Zodiacs. So you shared a soul with the Dark Jinn. Know then that this world made him what he was. His despair was born of its rank imperfection. I gave him the chance to bring this world to an end. He failed. But I shall not. And yet you would have us believe that this is a world worth saving. I should very much like to hear you argue that case. Come. Tell us what the world is worth. Come, boy. Let us hear what you have to say. Hmm. Oliver! It's okay, Pete. It's all gonna be okay. This world is full of people doing their best to live their lives. It's their world, and I won't let you destroy it. Those are bold words for a brat like you to utter. <laughs> this is the child the prophecies speak of. The Gallus would betray us for one so much. We are the Council. Our decisions determine the fate of the world. You're wrong. You're alone, Cassiopeia. You always have been. <gasps> They're gone. Are you all right? Huh? What just happened? It was something Gallus said. He said she was locked inside her own world. You mean to say that entire council was a figment of her imagination? Her magic was so strong, it turned her thoughts into reality. Wait, hold on a second. Then what made the White Witch disappear? Was she an illusion too? No, the White Witch is real. And she's in there. This is her radiance's inner sanctum. Did you not hear me? Be gone from here! Apis. That is enough. Ah. As you have no doubt deduced, Apis was but another phantom created by my memory. Yes, another illusion. How long has it been, P? <gasps> How long since? Cassiopeia! Why? Why do you have to destroy the world? Because it is imperfect. Imperfect like the human heart. Long ago, my own was consumed by the blackest despair. But then I discovered something on the furthest shores of solitude. I found true strength. Strength enough to remake the world. But you didn't have to flipping go and use it, did you? He's right. You're not the only person in the world. The world might not be exactly how you want it. But that's no reason to just get rid of everyone. You can't do that. It's wrong. It's wrong! It's wrong! Silence! Ah! The world is mine to remake as I see fit. And none shall defy my will. Weak-hearted humans, I condemn you to suffer forever! The savior of this doomed world must die! <laughs>
Huh? Where's this then? Oliver, look! Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. She's changing. Cassiopeia, you can't destroy the world. I won't let you. perfect, but nothing is. So you make the best of what you've got. When things go wrong, you have to try and make them right. And you have to keep on trying, no matter how hard it gets. That's what life is all about. Life? Even when you're all alone, you can't give up. Sooner or later, someone's sure to come along. I met P, didn't I? And she... Well, she's a part of you. Mm-hmm. And I met Oliver. Oliver, you're my friend. No, oh, P. Life's never perfect. It's always changing. Meetings, farewells, happy times, sad times. You take things as they come. And you keep on going. That's just how it is. <laughs> You're so kind, Oliver. But Oliver, don't be angry with Cassiopeia. She was so sad. She didn't know what to do. That's why I was born. But now you've made her better, and that means I don't have to look after her anymore. Huh? Oliver, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Uh. Thank you for everything, Oliver. This must be... The real Cassiopeia. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Queen Cassiopeia. As I was long ago. I will be forever in your debt. You have restored me to my true self. I heard your words. And now I can begin to live again. Thank you, Oliver. What's going on? We are the Zodiacs, the council that decides the fate of the world. The Zodiacs? But didn't you just imagine them? No, this... this has nothing to do with me. Can they... can they have become real? That is correct. We have slipped the reins of your magic. Ready, Cheek? Get back in her head, you rotters! Is this a declaration of independence? This is all my fault. Run from here. No way. We're staying right here. You don't have to do this alone. We can defeat the Zodiacs together. <laughs> Here goes! <laughs> 
thanks to you, I feel the urge to live again stirring in my heart. You have given me hope, the strength to overcome sadness. It's time for a fresh start, Your Majesty. She's not wrong. Give the world a try and keep your chin up, alright? Yes, and let the past stay in the past. Too right. That's what her old man would have wanted, isn't it? Indeed. But first, I must make amends to the people of this world for all that I have done. Of course, but take things one step at a time. I will. And my first step shall be flowers. Flowers? Yes, I shall fill this palace with their beauty. I want to see smiling faces. I want to make everyone happy just as they once were. This world shall bloom. You can do it, Your Majesty. I just know you can. And I want you to see it. To see the world you saved. My, you are an early bird. Morning, Miss Layla. It's such a help having you around, dear. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> so you take this piston and you connect it here. All right. I'm going to crack it this time. You see if I don't. <sighs> Mom, I'm going to get on with my life. And I know you'll always be watching over me.